Hello everyone, this is Jeet. Welcome back to another Let's Play. This is episode 7 of my Let's Play Minecraft series with Industrial Craft, Build Craft, Red Power 2, and more mods. Um, since my last episode here, I found out that I didn't have enough resources in those chests to actually convert into sandstone, so I decided to set up another quarry. Uh, so I traveled around to kind of find an ocean because I wanted to build my next quarry in an ocean, and I did find one. Luckily, I found it right next to an oil deposit. So what I did is I set up a pump to uh, start pumping out the oil from the oil deposit, set up another water pump so I can keep the engines cool running my quarry. And right now I have two engines running the quarry, and uh, to me right now that's fine. Uh, again, I'm not in a huge rush, but I do want to get some of those resources back to the base eventually. Um, so I'm going to hop in my boat here. Let me see. Come on. There we go. All right. So uh, question you might ask here is what is this purple block, wool block here? Uh, if you didn't ask, I'm going to answer it anyways. This is a, if I don't turn around all over the place, uh, this is a block that comes with additional pipes uh, for build craft, and this is a chunk loader block. Now what this is supposed to do is keep these chunks loaded, uh, keep this chunk and then uh, the adjacent chunks loaded into memory. So even if you're not uh, close to it, it will actually stay loaded and continue working. Um, I haven't had any issues with these yet. I don't know of anybody else that really has, but uh, so far it's kept everything loading since I've been back and forth in my base. Um, so here's the basic setup. I have a pump right there. Right now it's turned off because I have plenty of oil in this pipe right now. I don't want to waste the coal. Um, so it pumps the oil in to two combustion engines here, and then I have another uh, steam engine here that's pumping out water to these uh, two combustion engines as well. I have a cow that's decided to come over and see what's going on. Um, I have several of these chunk loader blocks spread out throughout just to make sure that all the chunks are possibly loaded. Uh, if I hit the hot key, now mine's mapped to F9, I'm not sure what uh, the correct key is, but you see these lines, and uh, let me see if I can get out of the boat here and show you these lines. Uh, what these lines mean is that the chunk is actually that these are the chunks that are loaded by the chunk loader blocks. Like I said, I have several of these placed around just to make sure that everything is I could possibly need is loaded is loaded. So uh, these go through several chunks here, which is okay. Um, the reason why I put this out in the ocean is I just didn't want a huge, you know, big hole in the land because I'm not going to do anything more with these, uh, at least not at the moment. So. Yeah, uh, so these chunks will stay loaded now that I, uh, if I go back to my base over there. Um, I do have a simple chest here picking up uh, items from the inventory. Picked up a lot of sand, a lot of clay, a lot of dirt. Um, but what I want to know from you guys, and you can leave these in the comments below here, is if I should uh, leave these or leave this as a uh, you know a standard pipe system, meaning I have to run a pipe all the way back to my base, or if you guys would, uh, wouldn't mind if I use Zelda's teleport pipes. Now I'm doing this Let's Play for you, uh, the subscribers, and anybody else who wants to watch this. Uh, so you know you guys have a say in what uh, what I wanted to do or what we want to do here. Uh, do you want to see me you know more or less not really cheat, but I guess uh, circumvent the system and use the teleport pipes, or do you want to see me run a pipe? Uh, and pipe these all the way back to my base. Now I don't know how chunk loading works or how those how the items work going that distance. So you know, using the teleport pipes might be more. Uh, you know, I might get those resources better if they are uh, you know actually teleported there as opposed to maybe being lost along the way in the pipe. So I don't know exactly how the system works. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and turn these off because I don't want to. I don't want to babysit these, but I don't want to uh, have anything happen to them either. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. Also, going to turn the water pump off here. Uh, so I don't know that that shouldn't explode, but just to make sure. So where did I leave my boot? Let's go back. So I want to go ahead and go back to the pace, base and start getting prepared for my next build. Uh, next thing I want to make for us is a automatic tree farm. Now I'm going to do things a little bit differently here with the automatic tree farm. Why? I guess the boat. Oh, that's funny. The boat recognizes the lines. Let me see if I get rid of them. If I can go. Yeah, that's funny. I might have to let Zelda know about that. But th it seems that the boat recognizes the lines and as an obstacle or something. Uh, so let's go ahead and slow down here so I don't destroy my boat. All right, hop out of the boat and hop on Flick. 
and head back to the base because I want to get started on making automated tree farm using red power. So I'll see you in a few moments when I get back to the base. Okay guys, so I made it back to my base. I died a couple times because uh, hidden creepers blew me up. So um, I did want to show you real quick here before I uh, go into the house here uh, what, what my progress is so far on the actual house. So I'm going to turn around here and show you this. Um, I really had no plan or idea for doing anything <laughs> in particular. Um, so yeah, uh, I started with this base cylinder back here, um, not knowing what I want to do, and I was thinking maybe I can do some kind of dome thing on the cylinder. Uh, so I don't know yet, I'm not quite sure. Uh, then I started building this entranceway here. And my son was watching me do this, and he said, you know, that kind of looks like a sphinx. So I was like, okay, well, I could see that. So I decided to put a creeper head up top there. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm using a lot of uh, the micro blocks from LRAM's Red Power mod. Uh, so, like some of these you see are just kind of pieces of blocks, or uh, I guess one quarter eighth blocks, I guess is what these would actually be. Here, and I'm using a bunch of them in the accents. Um, using um. So he over here, yeah. Um, I also used them, sorry for the jetpack again. Um, I also used them for the creeper head so I can scale down and get the creeper head the way I want to. Now you notice the creeper head on the inside is a little barren and I think what I want to do is actually create uh, some lighting using the red power lumars. Um, and I'm going to try black and see what it looks like in there. Uh, hopefully it'll look pretty cool and what I'll do is I'll wire it up. Now ignore this whole gaping hole down at the bottom. Um, I'm going to fix that after we run some run the wire for this and I have some red power wire. Um, before I get started on that I had a question for you guys and I made these little light boxes. I thought they were pretty cool. Again this uses pillars that you can cut uh, using the uh, red power saw um, and then they framed and some glass panes. So I have two types of lamps here and possibly I'll make a third one uh, if I decide I like the Lumar better. But um, so I have this lamp here. It has a torch in the center. Looks nice. Uh, then I have a lava lamp. So I don't know which one looks better right now. I can't really decide or, or if I'm actually going to go with the Lumar. Maybe I'll pop one in there after I, uh, after I make a few for uh, the creeper face up there. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. Oh, by the way, we, I did make stairs now at least to go down to my first machine room and my horse has been wandering around all over the place. Uh, I made stairs that go down. If you notice, these are smooth stairs. Uh, once again, courtesy of the uh, micro blocks from LRAMS. So these are all smooth micro blocks all the way up here, all the way. And, uh, and then back here in the corner are the uh, large blocks. Um, I kind of hid these, or I, I changed them to these because it looks like the LRAM's micro blocks it has some kind of shadowing issue with the regular blocks, so I kind of try to put them out of the way for right now. Um, I've got my chests; they're still not quite organized. So um, yeah, so let me go ahead and get my recipe here uh, for Lumar. Um, I got ink sacks. Let's see, I have my ink sacks. And then I have glowstone and redstone. And this should make me some Lumar, black Lumar. All right, so with that black Lumar then, I believe I put it in here like so. And I don't need a whole bunch of these, but I think I am going to need more than three. So black lamp. Okay, so... Yeah, hold on one second here. I had some glass cooking. One of these guys. There we go. Alright, so let's do this again. There it is. Uh, yeah, that should get me going. I think I only need six, and then I'll use one as a test in the uh, the thing. All right, so what I'm gonna do? Where's the sun at? 
There it is. It's getting ready to go down, so this will be good. All right, I'm going to jetpack up through this hole here. All right, and then I'm going to place the black lamps up here. Oh, no, nope, I'm going to need more than seven. All right, let me go back a couple more real quick here. Okay, so I've placed the uh, black lumar up there. All right, that looks pretty cool. So that's unlit. So let me go ahead and go up and wire this. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. Should be able to do this, right? Whoa. Oh. So that's that. So let me go ahead and just do a quick test here. Okay, so that lets it light them up. Okay, well, that's not too bad, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I use those or should I just put black wool in there? Uh, let me know what you guys think. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and wire this up. Okay, guys, so I'm back here, and I finished wiring it. Uh, so here's the finished product here. Um, I removed all my torches and light sources except for what's down inside there, just so we can see this a little bit better. Um, what I did is ended up running the red power uh, wire down through here, down through uh, panels, so everything is nice and hidden. You can't even really tell. There's a little bit of a lighting thing. I don't know if you can tell right here. There's a little bit of a lighting bug. Um, again, I, I guess that's just the interaction between the regular blocks and LRAM's uh, covers, and I'm sure that'll be handled some point in the future when the lighting engine gets fixed. So what I'm going to do now is flip the switch. You see it lights up out here. And look at our creeper face. Oh, wow. So he puts out all sorts of light. So again, let me know, guys, if that's, uh, you know, if that looks good. If you want, maybe just put black wool. Maybe I'll put some torches or something behind it. Uh, just to illuminate it a little bit. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you here real quick is I put a, a illuminator in here. It's the black one, so uh, you know, just bear with it for a moment. I'm going to slap a uh, switch on it and turn it on. So let me know what you guys think, if I should do lava, torches, or uh, put the uh, glow blocks in here, or maybe even glowstone. You know, Let me know what you would want, want to see there. All right, so what I'm going to do next, and I'm going to get prepped for it, I'm going to build a small mob farm. Now, I don't know how well it's going to do because I, I know there are tons and tons of tunnels and all sorts of stuff underneath it here, so I don't even know how well this would do. But um, I need to get some additional resources, and I haven't found too many sheep. I need to get lots of wool, so I was thinking maybe I can make a spider farm or something like that and uh, get uh, silk for spiders. So uh, bear with me a few moments here while I get set up for that. Alright guys, so I don't know if you see where I am on my mini-map here. Let me see if I can bring up the large version. I am right under this large lake that is uh, just to the west of my house. Um, I noticed there was a lot of squids pooling in the bottom here of the lake. And I, so I went down to investigate, uh, and I found that it has a series of caves under here. So what I need to uh, light this all up, plus there's like a lot of resources here, which is great. But I need to light this all up so uh, monsters can not spawn in these caves and spawn in my monster trap, which I'm going to make right above this pond. So I'm going to go do some caving here, uh, light this place up. Oh, no. Okay, and a brain and mine shaft as well, so I'm going to have to go light all that up as well. Ugh, got to make more torches. All right, so I will be back after all this is lit up and uh, let you know what's going on. Okay, so guys, I'm in this mine cave, and I'm still exploring it. Uh, it's really huge, but I wanted to show you that I am picking up mine carts, and this is for another project soon. Um... I'm going to connect my house, at least the very bottom floor of my uh, the house, to my mine shaft, which is over in that village. Um, so any mine cart or mine tracks I see, I'm going to be picking up and uh, saving up for that, so I don't have to waste a lot of resources for that. So just to give you a heads up as I still explore. All right, guys. So I found a zombie spawn, a zombie dungeon. So I'm 
quickly clear this out. Light it up. And we'll make a mob trap out of that later. Let's see what kind of goodies we have. Uh, pig saddle. Wheat, which is good because I kind of need some bread. And there's some bread. Uh, I'm going to eat that real quick here. Okay. What else we got? Bucket, some string. Um, yeah, I totally forgot too. Dungeons are really good for string because of all the cobwebs. So I can probably get enough uh, string to make my wool for my wiring. So that'll be pretty cool if I can accomplish that. Um, let me open up one of my bags here and drop some of this. I've gotten this cobble together to get my mob spawner or my mob trap together, and I'm not going to need it at the moment. I'm kind of spelunking in, in this cave, so. Um, we may or may not get to actually making our tree farm today. Um, probably the rest of this episode, also I'll be just getting all the stuff together here, getting the mob spawner working for this. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab some chests while I'm at it here and continue exploring this mine ca mine cavern, abandoned mine shaft, just because. Ooh, spider uh, rat. <coughs> Die. All right, and continue spawning or er, exploring this because there's a lot of resources in here, anyways. And I'm starting to run low on iron again, so all the other things. So uh, let's see. Again, I'm just going through lighting up everything I can, cutting down some of these cobwebs. So maybe I don't need to make my mob spawner right away. Hoping maybe I find. Uh, um, one of those spider spawners, and then I'll make a mob trap out of that, and just I'll have all the free sp free silk I want. So, all right, um, let me go ahead, and when I get finished here, I will uh, come back. Okay, so here's an odd room. Um, I'm exploring this cavern, and I come across a pr almost perfectly square room with a perfectly square dirt floor. I'm guessing this is a chunk, but that is just really odd. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I just thought I'd share that. Okay, guys, so now I found a spider spawner. Oh. And I found a skeleton spawner. So I pretty much got all my uh, monsters covered here. Except for creepers. So I guess I'm going to wait on my mob trap now. Let's get this guy covered here. So this guy is out towards the middle of my ocean. Or my the water supply. Uh, a couple buckets. Some sulfur. Powder. So that's that, and then I have spiders, a spider spawner. It looks like I might have two. I don't know. That's a whole ton of uh, spider silk, though. So let me go ahead and block this guy off. So I don't know. Do these these should actually work in 1.8, right? I'm guessing they do. Wow. Okay. Well, I think I will have plenty of silk, so I'm going to hold off on my mob spawner and get ready for my tree farm in the next episode. Thank you very much, guys. Again, sorry for such the for such a long, uh, long wait here. I want to get started on some of this red power stuff, but um, it looks like I will be able to now. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this string. All right, so thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next episode, uh, which I should update tomorrow. Oh, hey, by the way, if I get 50 subscribers before Saturday, I will do a one-hour special. So tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, make sure everybody knows. <laughs> I want to do a, uh, a one-hour special if I get 50 subscribers on my channel. Um, I think I'm up to the 35, 36 right now. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, if 
you guys want to see some of this uh, good stuff in action, and I'll I'll make sure everything's planned out and we have a nice show. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Okay, so yeah, again, if you uh, are interested in that, you know, uh, help me get 50 subscribers or get you know subscribe and get us to 50 subscribers, and then I will do a one-hour episode uh, where we'll do all sorts of cool stuff. Maybe I'll do the red. Uh, Maybe I'll do the tree farm there because that'll take a little bit of time. But I also want to do a melon farm because I found some melon seeds in this dungeon. So, again, guys, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. It means a lot to me. I have a lot of fun doing these for you guys. All right. Have a good one.